have Corey Norris, who is running for Lexington County Council as well. I'm going to start by passing this around. My uh, printed materials are on the way, I, so if you want to uh, be on my mailing list or if you want me to send you a sticker or sign whenever I get it, please indicate on here and I'll make sure that you get one. Do you want us to put it on it if we're already on it? Um, yeah, if you would, just because okay. I maintain separate lists. Yeah, all right. <coughs> um, I'll probably be a lot quicker because that's how I believe um, government should be, is yeah. government shouldn't really take much of your time. <laughs> um, but I uh, born and raised in Florence, South Carolina. I graduated from Clemson. I lived in Colorado for about seven years in the Denver area of Colorado. Um, moved back to this area because my in-laws had moved from Florence to this area. Uh, so my kids would actually know their grandparents so they never came and visit us in Colorado. So moved back to this area. I've been in Chapin for four years now. I have uh, three daughters um, and the oldest is almost eight. I have a daughter that's four and one that's two. We homeschool the oldest. The youngest two are in a, uh, a Christian preschool. I should say my wife homeschools the oldest. <laughs> um, I'm a software engineer, a technical account manager for Bill Packard. And um, I have a completely different philosophy on uh, the way government should operate. Um, I, I believe in uh, the minimal amount of government possible. Government should not be intervening in people's lives unless they are harming an innocent person. Um, I believe that private property rights are absolute and they come from God. And the Castle Doctrine, as we all know it, extends beyond just another citizen. I, I don't believe in uh, toying with the economy or uh, uh, stealing from local businesses in order to buy non-local businesses. Uh, they spend millions of dollars to bring a company in that will create 70 or 100 jobs. But they do it by stealing from everyone here already. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't it make a lot more sense to stop stealing so much and uh, maybe have 100 businesses hire one person instead and have our local businesses thrive instead of uh, bringing in foreign businesses on the backs of local businesses? Um, I can tell you. 100%, I will absolutely never vote for a tax increase, period. I don't believe that. Um, the government is already so much larger than it should be, and it's to assume so many more powers than it should have, that uh, the idea that we actually need to be raising taxes so that we can do more or even maintain what we're doing now is absurd. Furthermore, I, I recognize that taxation is theft, and theft is immoral. And if we're going to concede that we must have some taxation, well, it's okay. Let's start from the fact that it's theft and then work forward. Instead of what they do now, which is they start from where we are now and say, well, how much more or how much less should we steal? I'm sorry. They say how much more, how much less should we raise? Mm -hmm. It's insanity to me. You're starting from the wrong position if you just except well, well this we should steal these bucketfuls um, I can tell you that uh, I will never uh, vote to to take to use money that has been or wealth that's been stolen from the people of Lexington County in order to enrich businesses that have, are come from as far as I'm concerned they may as well be foreign countries like uh, Washington State and Orlando Florida places like that um, I just have a, a completely different philosophy uh, on the way government should work um, and I, uh, another bonus about me is that I am not employed by any government agency that is within Lexington County. So there's no conflict of interest there, we'll say. Um, uh, I'll let you guess as to who may have that conflict of interest. Um, Jeff, go. Yeah. Yes. Um, but I can tell you that I will... Uh, when elected, I will go to council and I will not do much of anything. I will undo a lot. But I have no desire to be a busybody who wants to get in your business and meddle with your lives and control you and regulate you and, 
And actually, uh, I, I was uh, looking at the uh, Lexington County website, and they have a new program now. So if you want to have uh, a car wash to raise money, they're worried about it going into the storm drain system. So instead, they have sought out local car wash businesses to give discount coupons and, and give a portion of the proceeds of that to the, to the uh, people that are trying to raise money. I don't even really know where to begin to start with that type of mentality. Um, I, I thought that storm drains were for water runoff. Um, I wash my hands pretty regularly and there's soap in, in my washing machine and it goes into water. I mean, I, I don't, I fail to understand how it is that, that soap from washing cars is, is, is so much of a concern that they need to come in and tell people you can't have car washes anymore. It's, it's complete and utter insanity. It, it, the, the, these people have gone so far off the rails yes. that, that they, to yes. actually say that they are a, a, a Republican is, is, is incredulous to me. It, it's so far away from just the poor Republican values. I, I, can't, I can't understand it. Uh, but I, I believe that we have a good opportunity here in Lexington County <laughs> because we can, we can deregulate we can cut taxes, and, and those people across the river over there that are mm -hmm. working as hard as they can to screw up their county, sooner or later, those people are going to want to come over to Lexington and do mm -hmm. business. They can stay there. <laughs> so we, we have a pretty good oppor opportunity to, but, but with the people that are currently on county council, none of, this is, none of this will happen. You'll get $8 million business parks in Chapin. I'm telling you, I live in Chapin. The people of Chapin don't need your money. I promise you, they don't need your money, but they're taking it, <laughs> and they're building eight million dollar business parks. People at Chapin can afford to build their own business park. I, I'm friends with a lot of them. I, they, we don't need we don't need to take the people's money in Helion and everywhere else to to commit these boondoggles. Like I don't, I, it's, I, I don't understand. So. Really, I, that's, I'm not going to take up too much more time. Um, I'll take questions. Do the people in Chapin want this business for it? Um, you know, one of the things that I have noticed is that the people in Chapin have better things to do than worry about a lot of this. And I think that's why a lot of the things that go on go on. Um, because you know, there, there are a lot of really good business people that I mean, they have other concerns they have well, a lot of wouldn't they be family. concerned about uh you know chapin becoming armo you know just becoming mm -hmm. big and you know, i mean you have all these businesses all these additional mm -hmm. jobs all these people additional people are going to move there the tax more schools and all that i mean i just well, i'm they, just wondering if they they have the money this. to move they're not stuck there yeah they, they have they, to they expand can. their industrial base because they're so conveniently located to the Pillion airport <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, the, 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 your question is a little bit flawed. I mean, you assume that government does things because the people want it. I'm just, I, I was I mean, asking. Government has a tendency to shove things down your throat whether you want it or not. I was not. just wondering, uh, since you live there, what, uh, what yeah, the feelings I, of the people in I Chapin haven't asked place. around as to whether or not people want a business park there, but, but I can tell you if the people in Chapin want to build a business, they, they can afford to build a business. They don't need uh, your money to do it with. I mean, so, I haven't, I haven't asked around specifically about that. I was just wondering if there were letters to the editor or something. Of what paper? <laughs> Lake Murray News or something? I don't know. What do y'all have up there? That's, what, that's oh. what kind of the point. <laughs> of course, what comes to mind, maybe I'm stupid to say this, but is graft and, and corruption and yeah. being paid under the table. You know, it, 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 you said, why would they do some of these stupid things? Well, they're buying votes. I mean, uh, you know, it, it, you're... They're buying votes. I mean, it's that simple. Um, there, I, I also think that there is some element of the, these people actually just don't understand economics. Mm -hmm. They actually think that mm -hmm. if they spend twice what the private sector would spend on, on a job, that that's okay because, you know, the federal government, they keep printing the money up, up every day. I, I really think there, so I think there are a lot of people that actually think they're doing something good. And it's just, they just have a fundamental lack of understanding of, of basic economics. You don't, the government, do, no government 
creates anything. Anything government has, it has taken away from someone else. So it, by diverting the uh, means of production to government's pet projects, you are, are depriving the private sector of Absolutely. what it would what would automatically occur due to consumer demand. Right. Um, if there was demand for a business park in Chapin, th there would be a business park in Chapin as long as it for wasn't cost prohibitive to do it because of regulation mm -hmm. and taxation. See, a, a thriving economy is not what happens in the presence of government, it's what happens in the absence of government. Correct. Here, here. Yeah. It's that <laughs> you, If you want to enrich the people of Lexington County, you get out of their way. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And that's all there is to it. What I was going to say, if you want to find why they have that coming to check and follow who owns the land, you follow the money. Mm -hmm. Same way with the new school we have built over in Lexington 1 on Carly Mill Road. Against uh, so, I 20. On some most you, expensive you property the in the county. Yeah. Something else I, I will say, too. Name, name. Um, I personally, uh, I can't make guarantees because I'll be only one vote, but I can tell you I'll be the loudest mm -hmm. vote there is. <laughs> I swear. Um, <laughs> I I, I would really, and it, yeah, yeah, I agree with you, um, but I would like to see county council's meetings move to a later time in a day where mm -hmm. productive people, the ones who, who county council is sitting back taking from, um, could actually maybe work it out to show up. I also think, I, like I said, I'm a software engineer, and um, I know how all this stuff works. I, I can do things really cheap. Mm -hmm. um, and I really think that uh, county council meetings should have online streaming. Because you know, it's uh, government should be accessible to the people. Yeah. Um, people should not have to uh, so drastically inconvenience themselves. I, you know, I, I would really like. I would actually really like to see uh, a, a government li literally shrink. I mean, the Taj Mahal they have over there that these people go in every other week. It, it's astounding to me that, that I mean, it's very, it's very telling the nature of government when you go into a, a small community, especially like Pelion, and you look at the school, and you compare that to the homes. Mm -hmm. when, when the schools are so, or when the government buildings are so disproportionately more opulent, larger, uh, 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 more expensive construction, brick construction thing, it's obvious as to where the balance of power is. Mm -hmm. And the money came from taxing the homes. <laughs> so, other questions? My website is norrisforcouncil.com, like Chuck. Um, I, uh, you, can, you can donate uh, to my campaign via the website. Um, I actually also do take America, uh, um, uh, Ma Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. Um, I, if you want to make a donation tonight, I can take Take those. Yes. Show, show them the deal. Yes, I can take. Um, mm -hmm. I can uh, use my uh, smartphone to take uh, donations tonight. Um, I uh, um, tomorrow. That and uh, there was one other thing that I was trying to make sure I didn't forget. Um, you know, through my website, you can donate uh, via PayPal. Um, but uh, I just need your support. I need you. I need what I, what I really need is because we don't have we don't have a lot of time. I think Robert the same way. Um, what I really would love to see is is um, if you live in Lexington County and District Six, and, and the, the new map comes all the way down into town of Lexington and everything. Um, uh, organize a, a small group and let me come speak. Um, it's gonna I'm gonna be able to get more bang for my buck um, in a short amount of time. Um, my cell number is 803-580-7002. Uh, give me a call. Email me. My email address is Corey, C-O-R-Y, at NorrisForCouncil.com. Corey, say, it. I'm stupid. Say this again. You, all right, you're running against Jeff Cope. Where is Jeff Cope's area? And So it, it was, it used to be, before the redistricting, it was just the, the piece of Lexington County that was north of the lake and a little bit of Irmo down around the lake, uh, mm -hmm. Highway 6 area, and down around the dam, not quite down to Corley Mill Road. Um, but it actually now is that all of that 
Plus, it comes all the way down into um, uh, and, and loops in a, a decent portion of the um, uh, city of Lexington, town of Lexington. Um, it's, it's been expanded. It's, it's kind of a little uh, So I'm in West shape. Columbia. Put me putting up, I can't put up a sign for you. because No, but you can I, use bumpers. You can, put, well, you can put up whatever you want to put up. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, it wouldn't necessarily make as much sense given the limited resources, thing, you know, right. um, well, things like that. But sticker or something, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're all over Lexington County. Um, but but tr it, you, you, don't need, you don't even need to live in Lexington County to donate to people like me, Robert, or what, uh, you know, you, what, you, what you have to understand about these types of things is having people like Robert and myself around, um, we're going to be very vocal. And when, um, when things start going on in Lexington County that are positive and going in the right direction, and they aren't happening in Richland County, it kind of puts pressure on those people over there, too. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. So while you may not be in the 6th District or the 3rd District, or even Lexington County, that doesn't mean you wouldn't benefit from having us in office. You wouldn't be for a bus system, would you? <coughs> no, sir, I would not be for a bus system. <laughs> if, 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 a, if there is demand for a bus system, then you will be voting the against the private sector will provide mm -hmm. it. And they will do it at a lower cost. Mm -hmm. They would do it more efficiently. They would right. do it cleaner. They would do it all around there. Accountability, too. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I'm also very much opposed like he's talking uh, how we have separate districts for everything. If you notice, if you notice, up there in the district six is where they've carved out all the special things up oh, there yeah. where I am. They've got the uh, Irmo Chapin Recreation yeah. and they've got the Irmo Fire District. Um, they've been able to carve out some exceptions for themselves. I I, I don't believe in that. I, there should there doesn't there shouldn't be a need for exceptions. It, government shouldn't be so intrusive in your life that, that you have to go bow at the feet and beg for some special treatment and exceptions. It, sh it shouldn't be that important. We, we, you could flatten the structure. You could eliminate most of the expenses. But I, I agree. If you sit down and go item by item in the budget and cut. Um, I, I will never vote for tax increase, so I will do everything I can to actually vote to decrease taxes and cut spending. Yay.